So I'm Luke Riley, I'm fighting out with Next Generation Liverpool. I am featherweight and I'm seven and out. I'm always looking for the finish, just 100% I'm coming in for the kill. It's, it's always going to be f***ing entertainment. This year, obviously, I've had a couple of decisions which were, I was close to getting them out, but the person I am now, I'm probably looking back, I could get them out with her now. But it's obviously what I've needed, you're not going to finish everyone. With the Callum Parker fight this year, which is probably so far it is the fight of the year. So obviously, it's hard earned money, so it's about putting a show on for the people who come to watch you. Yeah, the home crowd, obviously Manchester's close to home. I always bring a crowd, and for this one again, I'm bringing a good solid crowd, so it's going to be a lot of noise, entertainment for the fans, and using all the weapons on the feet, trying to go for the finish. Yeah, the similarity for me and Paddy, we're just one of the lads, lads, so that's how we act. We're just, uh, we're obviously and me and Paddy are boss mates. I'm expecting a game opponent, obviously he's five and out, so he's no slouch, he's going to come in, he's obviously he's looking to win, he obviously thinks he can beat me except in the fight, so it's going to be a good challenge in Manchester, he's not special anywhere, he's, he's good everywhere, and don't get me wrong, I've up to my game, I've been saying him 1 million percent in the gym, and I've drafted my arse off to make sure I'm 100 percent for him, but I'm just going to be too quick, too sharp, too witty. Obviously, I'm always going to predict the KO, but um, a Luke Riley win. My fight IQ is going to be too good, and you're going to see it in, in this fight. I'm just going to be a, a level above Luke.